player to make 120 games in three nights here at Ridgeways. You're going to get a good workout on your pool commentating, and you'll be ready for the next match that you encounter, won't you, Ed? Well, with any luck, maybe with your with you by my side, I think uh, I'm in good shape. Yeah, there's going to be some events held in the Philippines, I mean, mm -hmm. pro-caliber events that uh, I would imagine that uh, TV will be covering. Okay, Reyes is set to break. The score is tied, 26 apiece. We're going to 35 total wins tonight. I heard a tremendous crash, but I didn't see a ball fly in, and I can look now and see that all the balls are on the table. Well, there. Now, it appears that Earl has a defensive position here, and uh, I think he's going to see maybe some form of a stop shot, moving the one ball to the other end of the table and trying to leave the cue ball behind the nine. Well, that's right behind the nine. Right where you said it was going to go. For once. <laughs> uh, every, you bet, you say. It looks like we're looking at at least a two-rail kick, although I can't tell for sure. Yeah, two-rail kick. And uh, it needed to be struck hard because when you come off of that rail and then when you contact the one ball, even after contacting the one ball, Efren was going to have to have something hit a rail. And uh, by the time the cue ball hits two cushions, that's diminished a lot of the power out of the cue ball. But when he hit the cue ball so hard, it sunk the rubber in so deep that the cue ball came off a little sharper, or a little straighter than what he thought. And uh, that precluded him from making the contact on the one ball two cushions. What's Earl faced with now, Mark? Well, he's a little off angle. He's uh, all virtually straight into the middle of the end rail with the three, so he's going to require a thin cut. And uh, that magnifies the difficulty of being accurate, but then he also has to uh, be proficient with his position. Just a little bit of careless on the previous position shot. It's been an excellent shot. Absolute excellent shot. There he is. Once again, he displays his shot making skills, and uh, well, that's what makes for great matches. Oh, well, we're seeing one here. Six all. Once again, Earl Strickland takes the lead at twenty seven twenty six. You know, something that Earl does that you don't see hardly any of the tremendous players do is he shoots with bridges that are uh, somewhat unorthodox. And by that, I mean up off his fingertips, not with the uh, base of his hand on the mm -hmm. table. Mm -hmm. And uh, generally, that's regarded as a little bit uh, unstable. Well, unstable. unstable. It just doesn't uh, guide the tip nearly as accurately. You have to really have a strong bridge. But these players, this quality of play, the tip is aimed at the cue ball in a very specific place. And that tip hits that cue ball uh, within a sixteenth of an inch. Uh, that it has to be that accurate. When you have a fairly crude amateur player, sometimes their tip varies as much as a half inch or beyond, and uh, naturally that hampers accuracy. Harold's gone to the side break again. He's looking at the three and the one. Three did not go. One did not go. 
Line up the seven. That did not go. Well, at least table to Efren Reigns now. Efren has a couple choices here. There's a there's a bank shot past the seven. There's a carom shot on the three, and there's also a safety. Well, he played the carom shot. Can't see exactly what Arrow has on the one ball. It doesn't appear that he has a real good shot. I may be able to carry him off the one and send the cue ball crashing down to the nine, but that's a that's a risky event. And especially with the cue ball right on the rail, that really denies access to the bottom of the cue ball. And it looks like he needs to get down a little bit lower on the cue ball in order to be able to create the angle that would propel the cue ball solidly into the nine. To another test here for Earl Strickland. Oh, this is going to be super difficult to negotiate. Uh, if he comes out of this good, it's a testimonial to his immense skills. Quite a safe. Wow. Oh. Well, there was experience for you. Uh, he had to roll that ball from the other side of the table five feet to make a contact and then the cue ball barely trickled away so that took a lot of accuracy as well as a lot of speed control. Efren clearly is uh, at a disadvantage this rack. Efren's training the match 27 to 26. Oh, he made a tremendous hit on the one ball. That was not easy. That's absolutely as good as you could hope to come out uh, from where he was left. The vast preponderance of players would have committed a foul on that shot. Earl made a very nice cut shot. His pocketing skills are so great that uh, sometimes uh, they're a little bit overlooked because it makes it look so easy and routine. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've even seen Efren struggle with some of the uh, difficult long shots uh, of almost the exact same shot. Conversely, we've seen Earl struggle with position a little bit more than we've seen Efren. So there lies the contrast. Those balls really hit center of the pocket when uh, Earl sends them pocketward. You can hear him hit the pocket with authority. Another nice shot. Well, he's not going he's like going straight for the in the pocket. Well, I'm going to tell you, he was pretty unfortunate, and uh, he hit the ball exactly like he wanted to, to come up short of the side pocket. But because the cloth is still slippery, there was not much grab. Uh, by that, I mean the side spin on the cue ball did not grab at all, and it let it lengthen out off that rail. Rarely will you see a scratch on that shot in that corner pocket. So, Efren Reyes, for once, uh, gets uh, Lady Luck smiling at him in that particular game, and he ties up the game again. At 27 all, the rate we're going, uh, Mark, uh, looks like we're going to go for uh, about 230 games. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going to be more than that. Yeah. Well, he can't get any closer than uh, this match uh, has gone so far. 27 all after 54 games. First to uh, win 35 will wrap it up for this evening to continue and carry the score over tomorrow night here at Ridgeways. We've been treated to some tremendous pool, and, and now you're starting to see the uh, fatigue set in a little mm -hmm. bit. The balls aren't going as freely, and the positions aren't coming as easily. Efren really took something off the break there. He, yeah. Uh, 
He deliberately tried to 